brought to you by Bolton Brown. The only soap that makes you smell like poo. Ew! Ew. By the way, we have uh, Azzy's? Azzy works as well. Uh, uh, I was gonna say, also known as Azzy also today. Also known as Azzy. And, well, today on Chatterbox, we're gonna be talking about him. Hi. <laughs> so, introduce yourself. Uh, well, uh, I go by Azaris Nova. Uh, those that know me really well is uh, Azzy. You know, it's just like Ozzy Osbourne. A-Z-Z-Y. Sim <laughs> simple enough. And uh, I'm a fluffy dragon in the fandom. He's a floof dirge. Floof dirge. Yes, floof everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha. So, what made you choose floof dirge? Uh, well, it was kind of an evolution of my persona as the years went on. I started back whenever I was 19, I'm 35 now, and it started off just as a regular dragon, and little details started to add on as I learned more about, you know, how people design and customize their personas. And eventually I just decided, well, the scales really didn't do it for me, so I decided, why not fur? And that seemed to work. Buffy dragons are so cute. <laughs> Very pettable. Yeah. Very pettable. Very snuggly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> poke. Poke. See, that's the problem. You poke a fluffy dragon for everywhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, what actually got you into the furry uh, fandom or furry community for some people? Um, that was way back in the AOL uh, chat room days. Dang! Yeah, that was kind of the start for me, and like I had said before, I was 19, and I found the AOL chat rooms uh, one day sitting on a library computer, and nice. started exploring around, finding out what the uh, this whole fandom thing has started, and I started seeing people role-playing as animals, and it was, it was kind of an interesting thing. It was different and it just one thing kind of led to another but, you know with most people they were curious about it they find out what it was and they just kind of went on from there hey so kind of the same way that kit got there except um apparently kit's first way of going at it was uh on an irc chat and he was i think 14 okay so yeah yeah irc chat there's a lot of people there as well there's still many servers out there that uh, people can find a lot of furs. Yep. Uh, also, actually, there was another thing back in the day. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Furcadia. Oh, Furcadia! Furcadia. That, that. that was another uh, popular thing for a while, and that was before the day of Second Life. <laughs> so, it was, it was back whenever Furcadia was still... It's like if anybody remembers, it, their servers weren't able to keep up with uh, people sitting there doing uh, pillow rotates. Dang. Yeah, it's just like everybody rotate on their pillow and everybody's sitting there spinning on their pillows and it just crashed the server. <laughs> so, wait. It would crash the server if yeah, people sat and it, spun on pillows? Because so many commands were going into the server at once that it was just too much for the server to handle and just go down for a little while and come back up. But spinning around on pillows is fun! It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. You gotta try it sometime. Actually, I kinda have. Okay. Um. You're numbing your fingers. Go back. <laughs> um. So, how many conventions have you gone to and how long have you been in the fandom? Uh, let's see. I can recall I have been at about four conventions total. Uh, three of them were for uh, Further Confusion, it's uh, in the hometown that I'm living in now, and uh, this one here at BLFC. And this is actually the second convention that I've gone to for the entire span of con. Dang! The other times were just for one day out of, out of the week, because that's all I could really afford out of work. A lot of people do that. Yep. And it's not a bad thing, you know, you meet up with, with uh, friends that you want to talk to, and it's a good, fun time. Yep. Even just one day of uh, fluffiness and fun is better than none, right? Better, better than none, and an ex it's an experience that 
most people don't really have whenever they just, you know, they, 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 they a lot of people do with anxiety. Yeah. And I mean, that's, that's kind of a common thing uh, a lot of people, uh, people in the fandom. Does, they, they usually see a lot of people online. They're, they're, you know, the only way they know people is through their screen. And this is a good way to go out, introduce yourself, find more friends, and just have a lot of fun. Yep. Um, speaking of anxiety, I'm, mm. I'm kind of shy myself. No, it's um, all good. I mean, in front of camera, I'm fine, but put me around a bunch of fluffy, play, uh, fluffy people and I, 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 oh. Wallflower. Wallflower. <laughs> I I know that very well. <laughs> that that's oh. kind of on the resume for me as well. <laughs> so rather than how long have you been in the community, um, I know a lot of people are interested in fuzzy things before they actually find the furry community. So, um, kind of like what started it. Yeah. The uh, Saturday morning cartoons. That that was uh, that was kind of a uh, trigger for me at that point. And that seems I, to be a standard for a lot of people. Very big standard for a lot of people. They're kind of that's kind of cool. What, you know, I like that. For me, I think where it started was a cartoon back in the day called Project GKR, or known as Project Geeker. It only went on for one season, and there was a character on there that really intrigued me and it was a anthropomorphic talking dinosaur, a T-Rex. Dino! Big dino. Yay. So, and uh, voiced by the actor off of uh, Everybody Loves Ray Raymond, can't remember his name, but uh, big guy, deep voice, and he, he, he was actually the voice for uh, Noah as a character. Oh, the security guard guy. Uh, I don't think he was a security guard guy. I think he was a bounty hunter. Or he was like part of a bounty hunter. Wait, everyone loves Raymond? No, I meant off of the... Oh, uh, off of thing. everybody. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big, the big, big guy. guy. The big, big guy. friendly guy. I, like, I kind of like to call him the friendly giant. The big friendly giant. That's a very good way of putting it, too. By the way, speaking of friendly giants, you're huge. Six foot two. Jeez. <laughs> I bump my head on a lot of things. <laughs> Anyways, um, so thank you for coming on mm. Counterfox. Counterfox, like Anyways, counterpoint. <laughs> it's like counterpoint. Kinda. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess that's it for our episode today. So thank you for coming and um, say bye. Hey everybody, have a good BLSC. Bye. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to show our patrons some love too because they're awesome. Their contributions help us to afford all the neat stuff we use to record. So thank you. And um, if you want to become a patron too, you can click the link down in the description. You'd really be helping the channel out and you'd get a couple nifty goodies too. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, then yay, you're amazing. By the way, subscribe. Please don't make a foxy bag. Mm.